Okay, you guys, this is a different video right now. Here, let me flip this side on. So, usually when I have a dream, I post it on my community tab. But this time I decided I wanted to make a video about it. Okay, I, I had this dream back on December 21st, 2021 at 9.27 p.m. Okay, so as soon as I woke up at 9.27 p.m., I grabbed my pen and my paper. This is my tablet of paper here. And I have several of these. I have one that's for um, any of my true crime stuff. And then I have another one that is for any of my readings or my spirit box sessions. And then I have one that's specifically for my channel. And this one is the one that's for my reading and my sessions. I grabbed it and I started scribbling as fast as I could because as quickly as I was writing it, I was forgetting my dream. So I wrote on here that I was at the Wells house and it was around 5 or 6 p.m. And I do remember that it didn't look like the Wells house, like what I would picture it to look like inside on the outside it had the the big brick pillars on the front porch like it was nothing like what their actual house looks like okay the rooms were much bigger than what they are in their actual house okay so Don was just about to get home from work and Candace was running all around the house trying to clean up the messes the boys were running wild, and I don't recall seeing Summer there at all. When Don came home, he was so drunk. Like, he was slurring his words really bad. His eyes were super bloodshot, and immediately, he and Candace started fighting. I mean, immediately, like yelling, screaming at each other fighting like bad and the boys were just running all over the place he kept grabbing this knife that he had and I drew a picture I'm going to use my pen to point okay so this is my little picture here of what the knife looked like because it was look I wrote it was broken and big this blade part was like eight inches long this piece right here that I drew under the knife, this is the handle. He had the handle and the knife, but they were broken apart. So this handle would have slid over. Like if you've ever broken a knife from the handle, it has the, the metal part that goes inside the handle. Okay, so that's what this was. And he had this piece of like strap. See, I wrote, there was no handle black part. There was a wrap style rope. And he kept both pieces, the handle and the blade. But the wrap style rope was red on one side and it was black on the other side. And he wrapped it around the larger silver part of the knife with the teeth on it as a handle. So he would take this rope and wrap it around this little part right here that sticks out. And that's where he would hold it. And he was like arguing with Candace while he was holding this knife or this knife blade, I guess. So is it significant to something? I don't know. Is it, was it spirit trying to let me know something? I'm not for sure. This is the second dream that I have had now about Summerwell's case. The first dream, I did not make a video. I only posted pic uh, a picture of my notes on, um, or I don't even think I wrote or shared my notes. I just typed out what the dream was on my community tab, and Summer was in that dream. And Summer showed me marks on her body, on her left side, on her rib cage, and then on her butt. When I went there, she was wearing a nightgown. Like, she had just gotten out of the bathtub and put a nightgown on. So, she didn't have any panties on, no socks, you know, 
no pants, nothing like that. It was just a nightgown. And I remember when I was a little girl, that's how I used to always sleep too. And actually the nightgown that she had on reminded me a lot of the nightgowns that I used to wear when I was little. They had the ruffly piece at the bottom and they were short sleeve and they always had some kind of princess or Disney character on the front of them. They were really comfortable. I love sleeping in those. Um, so I shared that first dream and all the details about it because it got violent. The boys were fighting in the bedroom and it got very violent and very bloody. So if you guys want me to make a video and go into more detail about that, I can. When I made that post about my dream, it was a couple months back because it's been a while since I had the dream. But, um, so you'd have to go through several community posts to be able to see it on my community tab. So if you want me to make a video, let me know. I'll get my notes back out and, um, and my pictures that I drew and I will share with you part of the pictures. I didn't show the picture of Summer's butt because I just, that's not appropriate, but I drew it and just in case. So if you want to see that stuff, let me know. I can make a video about it. Otherwise you can just read it on the community tab. But for some reason, something was telling me I needed to make a video about this dream. What is it about this knife? Was this knife used on June 15th, 2021? And how is it that I remember the detail of this, this wrap style rope, that it was red on one side and black on the other side? I mean, that's just, you know, usually I don't remember colors when I wake up from a dream unless they're like very prominent. And that's the first thing I try to write down usually is what colors I remembered. So I've done a little bit of dream studying when I was pregnant with my daughter. I had some crazy wild ass dreams. And so I bought a dream dictionary and I started doing a ton of research and um, trying to figure out why I was having those dreams. This is my moonstone that I have out here, my moonstone palm rock. I love this thing. This has gotten me through the last couple days, actually. You can see a little bit of the labyrinths in there looking beautiful. But, um, yeah, something told me I needed to share it. So is it spirit telling me what happened? Is it spirit trying to give me a hint? Give me clues. Show me facts of Summerwell's case. What do you think? Let me know below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Ring-a-ding the bell. Hit the thumbs up. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let's chit-chat. I love reading comments and I love replying back to them. So leave a comment and do all the other stuff. And um, until next time, I love you bunches. Thanks for watching.